So here we are once again, and I got this beautiful piece of cottonwood bark in my hands. And I'm not just too sure yet what I want to carve. I got an idea, but I'm just not too sure. And guys, I'm extending the monster challenge for another month. So it will be at the end of March. You got to have your pictures handed in by. I just think that's uh, only fair. So this video here isn't going to be a tutorial, obviously I'm going to carve a face in here. This is going to be me trying to enter the monster contest. I'll see how good it is when it's done. If I like it, I'll enter it. So, um, we always have to start off with our center lines here. I've been thinking about doing a cyclops. I don't know guys, my, I've, been, I've, ha, I've been having an artist block when it comes to this monster thing. This monster challenge, just carve Rob over there, has carved like 10 of the things. If you want to check out his, challenge, his channel, just carve Rob, you'll see his monsters that he's carved in. Ah, okay, so, Cyclops, one big eye. Let's just kind of, I'm not too sure guys, I've never carved one so I don't want to say how to do it. There's his eye, kinda, maybe, sorta. So instead of not giving this guy one big eye, just making him different, let's give him two noses. I don't know. Just don't know guys, I'm fighting this bug and I just, seems like I've had the artist block lately and it happens, happens to the best of us, I guess. And what, I think when you got the artist block, you just kinda have a break. So, here's one, <laughs> here's, uh, here's one nose, you guys can see, this guy's a nosy guy, there's his next nose, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens, maybe I should just give this guy, you know what, I'm, just, I'm not going to give him two noses, that's just too much. So we'll just get, we'll start off with this eye and we'll give him one nose. Okay, I'll show you guys what burrs I'm going to use for what. That's about it because, uh, I don't know, and this guy will have a big mouth. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, guys, so I'm, I'm running a Dremel 4000 today, Dremel Flex Shaft. I got this cuts all burr in guys. These are my go-to burrs. This is the flame shape burr. All the tools I use are listed in my Amazon or my cuts all um, links below. Okay, so everything I say in this video is based on my opinion as well. So I'm gonna start carving this where it got marked. I'm gonna start carving this forehead deeper back first, okay? You know what I mean? So I'll take the forehead back first and that will give me an idea where to make the eye and bring the nose out and all that other stuff.
Okay, so you see his nose is sticking out there. Um, yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do now is, um, so I got the eye kind of drone on there. I don't know. Does that look, that look center? Yeah, that looks center. Yeah, okay. So I got my uh, round power here, my new micro motor. I got a little tiny diamond bird here. Okay. I love this tool for detail, guys. It's working wicked. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is with that fine little uh, diamond burr, I'm just going to go around and cut straight up and down on the outside of this, on the inside of the eye line. And then on the inside of the eye, I'm going to make it make it look like a ball's inside of there. Well, I'm going to make it try and look round, I guess. Maybe. Okay, you can see that's cut in there now. So now I'm gonna do is get, uh, I don't know, different type of burr and make this inside round in here, okay? I guess. Okay guys, here's another cut saw burr. This is the tapered burr. I'm gonna do the eye with. Okay, you guys can see I got uh, carved in the eye in. Here's the nose. I wanna say one thing about that I think is very important to talk about for the beginning carvers or beginning artists. I think one of the biggest challenges you can have is finding the perfect lighting, especially when you're doing inside these eyes. Like shadows can play with your mind and you think that you're, you got a deep cut in there, but it's not a deep cut, it's a shadow. So you guys, you know, like I have one of these lights just mounted to my table here. So I can move this light around wherever I want so I don't so I'm not fighting the shadows. So I suggest any new carver that has a like a work table or a bench to get one go to the thrift store, go to the art store and get one of these lights. You know, it just mounts right to your table. So I suggest get one of those because I can move the lighting around when I'm working on it. So I don't see see right now I see a shadow there. That might mess with my mind. So but if I turn my light this way. That shadow's not there anymore. See, shadow, now, move the light, no more shadow. That, and also that's why I like to ha be able to move my hand piece around when I'm carving. I don't like to have it clamped down because then I can move it like around any which way I want. So this eye's pretty big, whatever. You know what I mean? So, let's, um, I said whatever. Somebody said in one of my comments last video, wonder if I could do a video without saying whatever. <laughs> or you know what I mean so yeah whatever so there's his eyeball kind of I guess still guys draw your center keep drawing your center line go in guys even for his lip his mouth I'm gonna draw the center line in so let's just stay focused on this eye for right now okay so you can see I got that curve that in there so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna carve this in not too deep inside there though okay so i'm going to try and make this round inside here too i guess it's my first time doing a cyclops so i don't know and it's good to practice your eyes anyways right so that's maybe why i'm doing it okay so what i got here is this little tiny diamond burr on there not that tiny but see it's a point and i'm using on my micro carver so i can cut sharp right there they cut sharp right in here not make it too deep right just like a give it a nice little tracer line to get a little bit of a shadow effect on both sides i guess okay you guys can see that now okay so you know it's good to do a real thin undercut inside there too because it looks like if you don't undercut in there it looks like this this eye is attached to the eyelid and underneath the eye too right so i did a thin little undercut up and under both sides okay 
So, but this is, I think it's really important to have good lighting when you're doing something like this because it can really fool you. You know, like shadows. Look at the way the shadow moves as I move my light around, right? So there. I move it over here. Now there's no shadow. Well, there's a little bit at the bottom, but you guys see what I'm saying? Okay. So there's different ways to do this pupil. This is my first time, guys. If this doesn't turn out, I'm not even going to uh, publish this video because I don't want to give, give it, try and give anybody... Uh, wrong ideas how to do things okay so but when you get into diamond burrs like sets like these this you can get them on uh, amazon down below or ebay and they come in different grits too guys they come from 60 grit like see here's a far, here's a bigger grit this is like a 60 that's like a 60 grit this is like a 200 grit so anyways let me try and explain this what i'm going to do so you can see this one here is flat Okay, that's just a flat round one. You can go right on there, okay? This one is curved, see? You can again go right on there. I don't even know which one I'm gonna use yet. I gotta process it, I gotta look at it. Then this one's curved the other way. See, it's curved in. These are the ones Stinnett Sticks. If you guys go over to check out Stinnett Sticks, I call him the King Carver, he does those snake canes. But this is what he uses when he does snake eyes and his little like uh, mouse eyes and stuff. I think even bird eyes, he uses these round ones, right? See? Here's a normal round one. And then they're two opposites. So I think I'm going to use this. And if it doesn't turn out, well, it doesn't turn out. I can re recarve the eye. So my micro motor, I love how these bits change on this thing. Okay, so put it in there, lock it up, it's in. Undo it, take it out. You guys, if you're just beginning carving, though, I don't think you should get one of these micro carvers yet. I think, you know, they're just for detail, guys. Once you get into doing de good details and stuff, I think you should maybe pick one of these up. But until then, I'm glad I didn't get one until yet because I would have broken it. It would have cost me a lot of money. These things are not cheap. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just go, I'll find a center point and I'll go, I want this guy to kind of be looking down, I think. I don't know. But anyways, actually, let me just do it right now. Okay. Oh, God. This is... you got to make this part center, I guess. Okay. So let's just go for it, right? No regrets. Let the tool do the work, guys. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. There, how's that? See, it's kind of over this way too much whatever i'll figure it out looks like a freaking football in there doesn't it okay so i gotta do some adjustments on the eyes now maybe who knows okay you guys can see there i got the eye carved in to whatever it's like i said it's really tricky to try and get there you can see better it's trying to take tricky to get round it round in there. It looks a little bit deep right now, but once I carve the age lines under here and the eyebrows up here, it's I don't think it's going to be so bad. So now I kind of got a line for the mouth. This guy's going to have a mouth like Grumpy Jesse. Grumpy Jesse hasn't been around much either lately. I guess he's out partying or doing whatever he does. So here's the mouth. Okay. So I want this guy to have like big org teeth. You know, so that's why I haven't really carved too much down here yet. I've carved a Sometimes doing this bark too, guys, I want to say. Nothing's even. You know, this side's a little bit bigger than this side. Nothing's even. So sometimes it gets tricky when you're trying to learn on it. 
you know, if you can get a nice round branch that's round, cut it in half, then it's pretty even. But this is like, see how this bump comes out? There's no bump here. Nothing's even. So start off with a round branch or start off like just carve Rob and use a piece of this basswood. It's all even. And then that way, Rob, I'm not much of this for myself, but Rob uses a little tape measure, right? So he can measure everything out. And that's awesome that he does that. But you can't really do it on this bark. Maybe Rob does. He figures out a way to do it. But I, me, it doesn't work for me. I chuck it. So, but we're different carvers, guys, you know. So I'm not saying don't use it. Because if you, if you are good with a tape measure, I'm not bad. I worked in a steel shop for eight years. Fitting, fabricating, and apprentice iron worker, and all this different stuff. Measuring roofs. I know how to use tape measures, but it just doesn't work for me when I'm using this bark stuff. Okay. Anyways, let's go back. Jesus. So let's get these teeth uh, going on here. Big teeth. I want them to have big teeth. So it's trying to make them equal because this side is wider than this side, right? So it's just about going with what you got, guys. You know, so um, dorgs don't have to have same size teeth. Maybe it's, I don't know, a deformed org. Okay, so let's get this bottom. You guys got to remember too, your mouth's always wider than your nose, right? So... You know, you can take your center line across here so you know where the tooth is going to reach up top. Looks good enough to me. So now I got to cut all this away, right? I got to cut all this away. Not too deep though. This guy's going to have to have a chin too, so his chin will probably be down here somewhere. But see how like this side's bigger than this side? It's just... Trying your best, guys. That's what it's really about. But then again, don't ask me. I'm just like you guys. Okay, so let's see how that uh, these teeth uh, work out. Maybe, maybe we'll give them a couple little teeth here too. Nah, that's stupid. Maybe just two big ones. Okay. Anyways. So I'm going to carve on the outside of these teeth, make these teeth pop out. And then I'll come back and we'll talk a bit about undercuts some more, okay? Uh, before I start carving, I'll just go to say that I'll be using one of these little uh, ones like this. Again, guys, this is on my Amazon. If you want it, they're metal detail cutters I got them this. It's a little flame burr to cut outside these teeth. Maybe it won't make them so big, but whatever. I'll get that done. Damn it, I said whatever again. As you sit here and think, what could I do to make this piece better? What could I do to make this piece better? What do I see in it when I'm sitting back looking at it? What do I see? It's my imagination, so I can do whatever I want to do. That's what I'm going to do. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, was I ever fighting with that inner eye. Just the shadows, guys. Man, they're killing me. I'm telling you, today, today, the fight is real. The fight is real. Okay, so, yep, that's him so far. What I'm going to do now is put some age lines underneath those eyes using my, um, once again, that I use for the wood spirit beard hairs is my aluminum cutter. I'm going to put some uh, age lines under the eyes. I'm going to give them some eyebrows. And then when I'm doing that, I'll figure out what I'm going to do next. I don't think I'm going to carve this guy in a chin because I think it just kind of goes okay like that. 
Um, I'll figure it out. Yep. Oh, looks like he's wearing a baseball hat backwards. I see how deep that eye is in there. Pain in the ass. I'm telling you right now. Jess Carve Rob and his silly little tape measure and his little aliens with four legs and four arms and an air mask. This guy is pissed off. He's not happy at all. Oh no, he's not. Oh no. Look what I got hooked up, Jess Carver up. My wood burner. I got the idea from you, bud. So now I'm going to be burning everything in just to make it look better. Just to make it look better. Oh, she's warmed up. She's ready to go. She's ready to go. Sure, Jordy. Why not wood dye it blue? Oh yes, blue's a perfect color for this guy because he's pissed off. I once heard the color scale says red and blue don't go. Well, this is kind of like a uh, turquoise and this is red. So let's go for it, right? Let's just get her done. Just car Rob and his little monsters, little alien monsters. I like the way the colors went together. Oh, just hold on, gotta do something else here, Rob. Just for you, bud. There we go, every monster needs to have horns, don't they? Deer antlers. So, I really like the way those two, um, this is just the red mahogany color. But that's the color of it after I put the, that blue on there, that blue uh, wood powder, water-based wood dye. Oh, hold on, I got something else to do too, I forgot. <laughs> you ain't no wood carver if you don't got sawdust in your water. There it is. Three heads and a wrapping chin. Deer whore antlers and a bright light in the third eye. What did I, what was I gonna say this guy was earlier? Ah, uh, Cyclops. Well, yeah, it's kind of like a Cyclops monster from, what's that, World of Warcraft kind of guy, an org. He's an org, Cyclops org monster. So this is one of the better carvings I've done in a while, I think. Because I took my time and really <clears throat> tried to... The horns are kind of square, but who cares? I like the way it turned out. See how the nose is sticking off farther than the eyebrows, guys? The nose sticks farthest off the whole piece. So that's just one of those Christmas lights that uh, I use for the Christmas trees. I just did some electrical. This is a timed light, so it stays on for, I, th I forget what it is, the ratio. But I just epoxied that light in. It looks like it's flickering on uh, camera, but it's not flickering. I could clean this back up if I want to, but that's good enough. Put a nail hole up top to finish it. Sign your pieces, people. Sign it. So, yeah, I like the way it turned out. I got to think of a name for him. What do you think about that, Just Carve Rob? What do you think about that? I know we got two different complete styles, but you guys, just so you know, Just Carve Rob, uh, we support each other's channels. He's a, he's become a good friend of mine. He's he's a uh, carved that Jordy Lee and the pumpkin up there. It sent it to me as a gift, and um, you know, um, I'm not knocking his style at all. He carves lots of this basswood. And yeah, he does use rulers and stuff like that, but like his carvings are really cool. So I don't know. What do you think about that one anyways? Anyways, Rob. It's pretty pissed off looking, isn't it? And another thing too, guys, I'm not a preacher or anything like that, but that uh what's that coronavirus that's going on? I don't watch the news or anything like that, but uh I'm on Facebook and you can't avoid it just with all that bullshit toilet paper thing and stuff like that. You know, so if you're not feeling good, guys, just stay in. I, I'm staying. I don't even know if I'm going to go to work anytime soon here because from my injury, I've been on so many 
freaking antibiotics four different times like basically the most powerful antibiotics there is out there so i got a pretty weak system i think and uh just maybe i can catch something easy so i'm gonna try to avoid it like the plague i hope none of you guys get it and i hope everybody's good thanks for watching Love the haters, guys. Cry baby, you big cry baby.